In this video, we're going to have a look at division of decimal fractions. Just like with multiplication, we're going to start off having a look at division by powers of 10. When dividing by 10, the comma moves one space to the left. So in our example, when dividing by 1000, the comma needs to move three spaces to the left, and that will give us a final answer of 0, 0,0. 23456. Next up, when it comes to dividing by any integer other than a power of 10, we can make use of long division. The divisor of 34,6 is written on the inside and this is divided by 5. Remember that for long division we follow three steps every time. Firstly, you start off dividing, then you multiply and then you subtract. I already know that 3 can't be divided by 5, so I'm going to start off dividing 34 by 5. 34 divided by 5 is 6, and now I multiply. 6 by 5 is 30, and my next step will then be to subtract. 34 minus 30 is 4. Now I bring the 6 that is still left in my dividend down and I start my steps again. But before I do that, it is very important to always add the comma in the same place as it was in the original dividend. So 46 divided by 5 is 9. Now I can say that 9 times 5 is 45 and that will give me a remainder of 1. Remember that you can add any number of zeros at the end of a decimal number without changing the value. Therefore, I can now bring this zero down and next I can divide 10 by 5 to get 2. 2 times 5 is 10 and 10 minus 10 gives me a remainder of 0. Once you get a remainder of 0, you know that you are done dividing so our final answer is 6,92. You can also choose to do the long division a bit more effectively. For this, I'm going to start off dividing my 34 by 5, and that will give me 6 with a remainder of 4, which I add at the top. Now I have 46 divided by 5, which gives me 9, and there the remainder is 1. And now finally, 10 divided by 5 is 2 with no remainder. And the final step is to remember to add the comma in the same position as in the original dividend. In example 3, this time the divisor is the decimal fraction. And it's not ideal at all to do long division with a decimal divisor. That is why you need to know that 24 divided by 0, 0,3 can also be written as a common fraction. Then you need to know that common fractions have a whole lot of equivalent forms that have the same value. To form an equivalent fraction that has a divisor, or in this case a denominator, that is not a decimal fraction, we need to multiply this by 10. Now you need to remember that we then also have to multiply our numerator by 10. So an equivalent fraction for this value is 240 divided by 3. And now we can go do the division calculation by dividing 240 by 3. This will give us the same answer as the original question because they are equivalent fractions. 2 cannot be divided into 3, so we move on to 24. 24 divided by 3 is 8, with a remainder of 0, which means we can simply add that 0. And our final answer for 24 divided by 0, 0,3 is then also 80. In example 4, the dividend as well as divisor are now decimal fractions. Our focus is to change the divisor to an integer. For that, we need to multiply the value by 100 
to move that comma two spaces. And then of course, we also need to move the comma in our dividend two places. This means that we will divide 991,2 by 42. And again, we're going to use long division. 9 cannot divide into 42, but 99 can be divided by 42, and it goes into it twice. 2 times 42 gives us 84, and if I now subtract 99 minus 84, I'm left with 15. Next, I bring down the 1, and now I have to divide 151 by 42. And 3 42s can fit into 151. This gives me 126. And once I've subtracted again, I'm left with 25. Now I bring down my last 2. Here it is important to remember that we are now at the comma, so we have to add our comma in the answer. 252 divided by 42 is exactly 6. And once I've subtracted that 252, I have a remainder of 0. And this means that 9,912 divided by 0,42 will also be 23,6.